Now that we have the uh, health points, as a text, we want to create a nice health bar on top of each player's character so that every player can know the status of each player's health. So that if you see that a player is almost dead, you can just finish him out. All right. So let's create that script. Inside of the Iron Man, I'm going to right click, create, and then a C sharp script. I'm going to call this one health bar. Now I'm not putting player health bar because I can reuse that health bar for enemies as well. So just health bar. And press enter and uh, I'm not gonna edit it yet because I want to create the actual health bar I'm gonna take the Iron Man prefab and drag and drop it inside of my car my uh, actual environment and I'm going to add um, the health bar how do I do this well if you look in your assets you see the health bar here that we added earlier so make sure this is a type of a sprite okay and click on apply all right for 2d and ui now drag and drop this health bar inside of the iron man prefab there we go and put this at position 000 it's local so it would be on the feet of the iron man character let's double click and see that in the scene i'm going to double click and yes i can see it it's right there so i'm going to have to work on this i'm going to put this up i'm going to put this on on top of the iron man character face okay so right here now it's a bit small so I'm gonna change the scale instead of this I'm gonna put something a bit bigger okay so 0.2 will do and then for the the y-axis I'm gonna put 0.15 yeah that will do and Z don't worry about the Z for now all right so that's gonna mean that's going to be the health bar all right so now let's create the script Inside of the health bar script that I created in the Iron Man, I'm going to edit this by double clicking on it. All right, so let's program the health bar. First thing we want to do is get a hold of the player so that we can get the current health of the player. Public, game object, player. Right, so we're going to have to get the player. We can do it right here. Uh, actually, by leaving it public, we can just get it and assign it inside of Unity. So I'm going to save that and assign it right now so that we don't forget to do this. Let's go back to Unity. And in the uh, health bar, make sure that you put the health bar script, by the way, if you don't have it, drop it there. Now I have it twice, so I need to remove this one. And here, I'm going to select the player object. I'm going to just drag and drop the Iron Man prefab. All right. Here we go. All right. By the way, don't forget to select the Iron Man prefab and apply. If you don't do that, you will not have the health bar. All right. Going back to the script. Now, what I want to do is that once I have the uh, player, I can actually get the health from it, right? So in the start, I'm going to get the health. I can do, um, let's uh, create actually a variable to, st to store the, the main health. So that would be a private, that would be an int. Um, max health and I'm just gonna put here in the start max health is equal to player dot get component and the component that we're going to get is the uh, player health and from the player health we're going to get the uh, max health which is the initial health now i don't remember i think it's starting health yes there we go starting health is the name of it if not you can always go back to the player health script and check it out all right so we have the max health now the minimum health will be obviously zero so we don't need to put the minimum health now what we want also is change the color of the health bar we want the maximum health bar color to be green and when the player is almost dead we want it to be red so i'm going to add these two colors here public color mean color for the minimum value when it's about to die it will be color.red now feel free to create your own color but um, i'm going to use the uh, default colors and then public color max health which will be the max max color is equal to color dot green all right feel free to put also a blue color if you want some games use blue for the max and some other games use yellow as well all right like street fighter all right now um, what I want to do also is um, to get um, a hold of the image, the, the health bar. Right now, the health bar image 
it's just white okay but we want it to be green so i need to get a hold of it to change the color of this inside of um of monodevlop i'm gonna go and do private that would be a sprite renderer because the sprite renderer is what controls the actual um color of the image and let me call it rend rend and now i'm going to in the start get a hold of it so rend is equal to that would be uh, this dot get component so get component and the component will be the health bar. Uh, actually, is it the health bar here? That's actually, no, we're getting the sprite renderer. What am I talking about? Yeah, sprite renderer. And then, um, so we have the renderer. That's good. Now, what we want also is get a hold of uh, the current health. So let's uh, add a value that says current health. Public float so that would be um, actually uh, yes no we, we, we only do the current health because we're going to take it from the player health okay so actually um, we don't need it because we'll access, access it straight from the player health all right now uh, what we do want is um, being able to know the initial length of the, the bar so that bar right now we want to know what's the length that we want it to be the maximum length um, right now the scale is 0 0.2 and it's on the X so that will definitely do. we don't want we don't want a bar that's that long right so 0 0.2 will do just fine all right so right here I'm going to add the new length public float initial length that would be 0 0.2 and then we want the actual current length public float current length and we can put this to be equal to 0 0.2 so that at the beginning it starts at the maximum. All right, so we don't need that public float anymore. All right, and now the update. What do we want to do in the update? Well, we want to update the size of the actual health, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do float. So let's create a fraction. That's going to be the a percentage or just a fraction of the, the, the health bar. So it's going to get smaller than the max, right? player dot get component that would be uh, the component that we get is the player health dot we're getting the current current health all right and we just want this divided by the max value so the max value is the max health here which is the one we're getting at the beginning the starting health divided by max health all right so we're getting the fraction. So that would be like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.0. Um, the reason why it's going to be between 0 and 1 is because we're getting a fraction. And we want that because when we want to affect the color, the color takes a number between 0 and 1 to set the color. All right, so we have the fraction. Now let's use it. So the sprite renderer is rend.color. And the color will be, um, by the way, um, the health here is a current health is actually an int. So we need to. Um, convert this to a float by the way that's important if you don't convert that to a float this might not work All right so rend dot color is equal to now we're gonna make a smooth transition of color so color dot lerp lerping is to make a, a, a smooth transition so from the first color which would be um, the first color here would be the minimum color so which would be uh, zero right the minimum actually the minimum color is color dot red so just mean color and the max color would be max color so it will be from green to red and then the actual value right now which would be the one that's uh, the, the current value which would be let's use math dot lerp again to make it smooth and we're going to use um the um so it's going to go from uh, zero to one which is for for a color from zero to one and then the actual color would be player let me let me press enter so that it's easier to see for you player dot get component and the component that we're going to get is the player health dot again the current health so we're getting the current health and here we're going to divide it by the max value now as you can see this is very similar to the uh, fraction okay so we can actually reuse the uh, the fraction here 
max health. All right, closing the parentheses here and the other parentheses and put a semicolon at the end. All right, now this is for the color of the health bar. Now we want to handle, so handle the, uh, the size, okay, or length. So right now this one was, here we were handling, handle the color of the health bar, okay? And now handle the size. We want uh, to use the transform. So transform dot, that would be um, the size. So local scale is equal to a new vector three. So that's how you change the scales. You guys should know that by now. And that would be the initial length, which would be 0 0.2, but still we're gonna do initial length just in case you wanna change that in the future, times the fraction. Right, so that would be just a percentage of that, and then the rest is going to be similar. So the other is transform dot local scale dot y, and then transform dot local scale dot z. All right, close this and a semicolon at the end. All right, now also something else we want: we want the camera to we want the uh, the health bar to always face the camera, so we can see the whole health bar. So face the camera at all times. So that would be um, transform, so we're changing the, the rotation here, dot look at, and that we only to look at the uh, position of the camera, which would be camera dot main dot transform. Okay, so we're looking at the, the, the position and rotation of the main camera. All right, so I'm gonna save this and uh, make sure this is attached to the script. And by going back to Unity, what I can do is just press play and use that character and see what happens. All right, so right now I have the Ironman prefab, but I'm gonna select it. Okay, here it is, and I can see the health bar. So what I'm gonna do is uh, change the actual value of, the, of the, the current value of the health, right? And if I change the health, that should affect the size of the bar. Let's see, I'm gonna put the current health down and check this out. All right, it's working just fine. All right, so it goes from green to red, all right, perfect. All right, so uh, that's it for now for the health bar, but now we want the player to take damage so that we change the, the health bar size here as well.